Hey, welcome to the third installment of uh, Music Theory Lessons Concerning the Circle of Fifths. To this point, we've discussed how to draw the Circle of Fifths, we've discussed how to use the Circle of Fifths to figure out the key signatures, and the key signatures tell us which notes are sharp or flatted in any key, and we've discussed how that the key signature really is telling us what notes are sharp and flat in any key, which is another way of saying the notes of the major scale. If you're in the key of G, you're going to use the G major scale. If you're going to in the key of C, it's a C major scale. So this lesson, we're going to talk about how to take the circle of fifths and take that next step to be able to figure out quickly what all the notes in the and all, all the major scales are. Why is this important? Well, it's important if you're a guitar player, if you're a horn player, if you're a piano player, if you're any kind of musician, it's important because the major scale is the linchpin of everything we do in Western music. If you know that you're in the key of G, then you know your chords are going to be G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished, and back to G again. If you know you're in the key of G, then you know all seven modes of that major scale that you can work with. You know all seven chords, you know all seven notes, you know you have all the notes at your disposal for harmony, you have all the notes at your disposal for melody. Anything you want to do in any direction in music comes out of the major scale. So we must learn, learn the major scale. We must get to know the major scale. That's what this lesson is all about. So pay attention. Uh, I'd advise you get a piece of paper because there's going to be an exercise to do towards the end of, the ex of this uh, video. And uh, let's have a run at this thing. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. All right, here's your circle of fifths, an old friend by now. You should recognize it. Now, key signatures define the notes used in a given song. These notes are called the major scale. The circle of fifth tells us which notes are sharp or flatted. The major scale starts on the same letter name as the key that you're in. For instance, if you're in the key of C, your first note's going to be C. Then you proceed up the musical alphabet until you get to C again and stop. So it'd be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. There's the notes of your C major scale. Notice that there's no sharps or flats. Well, if you look at the circle of fifths, you notice the zero underneath the C. All right, the C major scale has no sharps, has no flats. C major scale begins on a C, C major scale ends on a C. All right, now, C is note one, D, note two, note three, that's going to be E. Note 4, there's F. Note 5, coming up, what do you think it's going to be? It's going to be G. Remember, there's only seven letters in the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So the next letter is A. Next letter is going to be B. And the final letter in the C major scale is going to be the letter C. Seven notes, every major scale. All right, get a sheet of paper. And right across the top of the sheet of paper, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Just a reminder, these are the notes in the musical alphabet at our disposal. Now, on the left side of the paper, starting with G and going around the circle of fifths on the sharp side from G to F sharp, put a different letter, each one of those letters on a different line, as you see here, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp. These are going to be the scales for all the keys that have sharps in them. Now, the next step, once you do that, is to Finish out the major scale letter name notes. Don't worry about sharps or flats or nothing like that. Just put the, go through the musical alphabet until you get to that first letter again. So the first line is G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. D will be D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. A will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. E will be E, etc. You see how that works? Great. And when you get that done, then we're going to go back in and turn these into major scales. All right, here we go. All right, do you remember what we did before? We're in the key of G. What's the number next to G? It's a one. So that means you go up to the very first letter in the order of sharps, an F, and you put a sharp next to that letter in the key of G. Go to the key of D. How many numbers next to D? There's two. So you go up to your order of sharps and put a sharp next to the letters F and C in your D major scale. What's next? Well, it's the key of A. A has three sharps. That means you take the first three letters of the order of sharps and put sharps next to those in the key of A. That would be F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. All right? 
Next one is going to be the key of E. It has four sharps. First four letters upstairs there are F, C, G, and D. So put a sharp next to F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Now we're in the key of B. B has five next to it in the circle of fifths, so that means you take the first five letters, F, C, G, D, and A, put a sharp next to those in the string of letters that you just did, a little B line there, B major scale. And the last one is F sharp. F sharp has six sharps, F, C, G, D, A, and E. Put a sharp next to each one of those letters that you wrote next to the F sharp, and now your F sharp scale is all completed. Now let's do the same thing with the flat keys we did with the sharp keys. Make a list on the left-hand side of your paper, for when put all the letters that define the flat keys on the left side of the circle of fifths, starting at F, going all the way down to G flat. Now look at F. How many? No, what's the number next to F in the circle? One. That means you take the first letter of the order of flats, B E A D G C F, and that's a B. Put a flat next to the letter B on your F scale. Now, does that make sense? We're going to do the same thing here that we did on the right side of the circle. We're going to look at the number and then put in flats next to all the letters that it calls for. All right, this is the B key of B flat. What's the number next to B flat? Two. So go up and take your first two letters of the order of flats, B and E, and put a flat next to those letters in that string of letters you put next to B flat. Next is E flat. E flat has three flats in it. The letters going to be used are B, E, and A. So put a flat next to B, E, and A on your E flat line. Next key is going to be A flat. It has four flats. B, E, A, and D. So put a flat next to those four letters on the A flat line that you just got right there. All right. Next one is going to be D flat. D flat has five flats in it. Why? Well, look at the look at your circle of fifths. The letter D flat has a five next to it. So the first five letters get platted. B, E, A, D, and G. And our last one is going to be G flat. G flat has six flats. B, E, A, D, G, and C. Put a flat next to those letters on your G flat line and you're done. Okay, we're getting ready to start some pretty cool stuff now. You've discovered how the circle of fifths can tell you what key you're in by just counting the sharps and the flats you see in the key signature. And then you can figure out the names of the major scale. That is huge because now that we can know those notes, the world becomes our oyster. Oh, we are going to have so much fun. The next lesson, we're going to talk about the chordal scale using the major scale notes that you now know to figure out all the chords that are in a major key. Hang with me, it's gonna get great.